Phil, the, the report says that they had right there in their hands, DCF, a history of neglect, but according to the investigation, they didn't look hard enough or long enough. It is clear that the Department of Children and Families should have not closed the case in 2013. The decision to close was based on insufficient then current information. Rochelle Bond, the Office of the Child Advocate, says DCF did not look hard enough at her parenting, despite conflicting information about the ability to be a good parent. DCF was aware that Ms. Bond had her parental rights terminated for two other children. The last termination was more than 10 years before the birth of Bella. Baby Bella's body was found on Deer Island in June, and it took months to figure out who she was. Her mother, Rochelle, and her boyfriend, Michael McCarthy, are both awaiting trial. He's charged with murdering the child. The Department of Families did take a close look at the case after other high-profile failures, but it was lacking. The challenge here was that the case was closed around just before the information and the identification by the department of those cases that needed tier two review to happen. And so it was a question of days, literally of timing. The advocate says many families present difficult choices because they appear to be providing good parenting. But the department's view is often clouded by drug abuse and other issues. I think it is impossible for anyone to say that continued involvement with the department would have prevented the tragedy that happened in that case. There were two earlier neglect investigations, one in 2012, lasted three months, one in 2013, that one lasted four months. The report does not say why all of a sudden the case was closed. In Boston, I'm Jack Harper, WCVB News Center 5.